You're 25 now. 25. How the dating going? Dating is good, you know. From Uncle Steve. Uncle Steve. Uncle Steve is always trying to get me with the billionaire. I'm like, Uncle Steve, I don't need the billionaires. I just need some simple, simple stuff. You know, I don't like to mix my industry business with my personal life. I'm just laying low in private, love. Uncle Steve ain't trying to get you with no billionaire. He trying to get you with somebody that has a plan to have something. That's yeah. what I keep trying to get you to do. You, you can't quit bringing these. <laughs> Uncle Steve loves billionaires. I'm gonna just tell y'all, he do. Every time, I, anytime I see Uncle Steve out, he's like, now nah, I got this guy. He's got a net worth of 300 zillion. And he, <laughs> Y'all can really create generations and generations of zillionaires. You need something zillionaires. with somebody with something. <laughs> Quit trying to give a boy your lifestyle and he ain't earned it. Oh my God, but you know what? Everybody don't start off as billionaires. I'm not a billionaire yet. Everybody don't start off a billionaire, but you got to have a boy that's got a plan to at least be one. I'm not saying you got to be a billionaire, because yeah. hell, I ain't a and billionaire. And I've dated some real horrible billionaires, honey. They not good all the time. Sometimes they're crazy, Steve, and that's why I stopped taking your advice. You didn't, you didn't pick the one like, I told you to. I'm Steve, the billionaires because you are don't, terrible. Because you don't listen to who I tell you. Them billionaires be you having four them. and five and six other wives. Well, you, be, right. you the one over there and got them. I ain't never bought you nobody like that. You gonna sit your crazy ass up here and now, say that? See, he knows I'm right. He knows you I'm right. You just a lie. <laughs> You're not finna sit up here. Them billionaires. Don't believe what Kiki you hear. Palmer, you not finna sit up here and act like I done turned you on to some bad dude. You do not listen to me. I do. When no, you, you told don't. me about these billionaires, I said, No, I what? told you, but you, I didn't tell you to go get him. What the hell you go get him for? Well, he was for? a billionaire. He had a plan. He was just lying about it all. But you, I didn't tell, but I didn't tell you to get I'm him. I'm telling you, liars are liars, rich this are poor. This little girl right here. You just have to find who's for you. And, you know, that's just it, because I'm telling you, billionaires, they have just as much baggage as the rest of them. <laughs> Honey, trust me. Trust me. Why are you clapping for this ignorant mess right here? It's true. It's true. It's true. Don't be mad, Steve. Who I try to tell you to get with, you don't want to hear me. Now, all of a sudden, he ain't pretty enough. I done told you about the pretty ass boy. No, the one you were trying to give me with was pretty, and I seen no, him No, he wasn't the, pretty. I seen him on the gram with some other celebrity chick. Yeah. And you ain't gonna meet nobody that ain't got no damn body. Yeah, yeah, who yeah, you, Steve. Who you know got something ain't got nobody? Like, it's it just it's impossible. True. Somebody, you everybody's just, had been with someone. That's right, something. you just gotta, you gotta get to know them. I didn't tell you to... Just, These guys man. don't be trying to get to know nobody. They just be trying to go to bed fast. I ain't got the time. Oh, y'all finna clap for that, too? It's true. It's true. I'm gonna be serious with you guys. It's you true. With like, a lot of these... Like, I don't know that. I serious. wrote the book about with, it. I tried to tell y'all. With man. a lot of these billionaire guys or these industry you guys... You ain't coming on this show no more. They get stuff so... They get stuff so fast, you all. They get stuff so fast that when they meet someone like me, that's like, you know, okay, you can't just buy me something and I'm gonna be thinking you're the greatest guy in the world. I actually want a conversation. Want you to have interest in what I do. Want you to actually work to get to know me. They act like they don't know what to do because the easiest thing that they've learned that works is to just buy everybody everything. It's just like, I can buy myself everything. I don't need, I don't need you to buy me anything, love. The things that I need for you is money, what money can't buy. I done had this talk show seven years. You ain't ever heard me tell one woman to do nothing she just said. Seven damn years. I have said direct opposite. But I'm, little I'm Miss Fast over women. here. I'm hitting up all these women. Little Miss Fast over here don't listen. Then when she go make the mistake, then she come back, I did that. You didn't do a damn thing I told you. I did. 
I did, Steve. I, okay, so tell me what I need to do, Steve. What I need to do, apparently. I said, this is what I told you. You made, you need to make two lists of what you will accept in a man and what you will not accept in a man. Okay. I told you that. I did N that. No man is going to be all of what you want. He does not exist. He exists, but he left. He's coming back, but we know not the hour or the day. <laughs> no. Now, <laughs> you take the don't list and you make sure that the don'ts don't outweigh the do's. There yeah. are some deal breakers and there are not. Now, you can find the nice guy, but he has to have a plan. He don't have to have a million yet, but he has to have a plan to get somewhere close to that because you make a lot of money. What you cannot do is be taking care of nobody else. So True. what you can't, you can't give nobody your lifestyle. Yeah. He got to come in here with a lifestyle that you can put it together with. That's all I've ever seen. Okay, well, Steve, I I'm with that. I'm with all those things. That's, that's, that's exactly me. But like you said, we don't know the hour or the day or the month. So, you know... That, 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 that was a reference to Jesus. <laughs> You see this here? See this well, problem? Praise see, the Lord. See, praise now, the Lord. Now, you all saw just firsthand what didn't happen with me and little Kiki Palm relationship. I tell her one thing, she take it and go, well, we don't know no, the see, hour I, or the day. No, we ain't talking about Jesus. I agree, Steve. I agree. I agree with the list. You know, I agree with the do's mm -hmm. and the don'ts. I agree with setting the boundaries, setting hard lines, mm -hmm. but also understanding there's room to grow and to breathe and yeah. to making sure that, that person at the end of the day has the foundation yes. of what you can grow with. And I'm yes. down with that's all that's, I'm with it. But when somebody shows me that they're not with it, then they're out. They're out of here. They're out. They're out, Steve. They're out. They're done. Cause the gag is, I don't have time for games. Okay. Okay. I don't know what scene that was from, but <laughs> what the gag is, I don't have time for games. I said, all right, little Eartha kit. <laughs> oh I love God. this girl right here. I love her. Steve, we need to do a movie together. That's what we need to do. What, we, uh, what, what would the we movie be about? We need to do about? a comedy. I think something where we could be con artists would be cool. You in a new movie yourself now. You got this new movie with Lee Daniels. Yeah. Uh, that's out now. Yeah. The new movie's called Pimp. Yes. And I heard you had to gain 20 pounds of muscle for the Yes. Role. So it's like, you know, it's kind of hard for just how the female body is to gain a bunch of bulk like that. So it's like I had to decrease in weight and amp up in, in the muscle gain. Wow. Got the little tattoos. Not Those aren't real. No, man, your mom, your mom there would have beat you half to death. <laughs> oh, but I have tattoos. I love tattoos. Really? But then I get scared because I think about when all my elasticity goes in older age, will I just look like a big old paintball? Oh, well, I got news for you since you brought that up. See, you should have asked Uncle Steve, because I could have told you. See, all y'all fall in love with these tattoos, that's because you're young. Half the stuff you done put on your body when you turn 40, you're going to wish you never had a road on there. <laughs> and yeah, gravity going to take over. Because right now, see y'all young, your skin sexy, got a butterfly right here. You turn 50, the butterfly going to be a moth. <laughs> See, you scaring the heck out of me. No, it's just called age, baby. It's just called, just age gracefully. It's gonna be wonderful. Well, you know what? Black doesn't crack. Maybe around 50, I can get them all removed. 50? <laughs> I'll still be held together at that point. I'll still be held together at 50. You think it'll go before 50? You know, I'm 61 and I ain't like, like, like my stuff don't ever. Steve! Girl! Hey, listen, I want to play a game with you. Okay. Is that cool? That is. All right, uh, I'm going to ask you a question, and I want you to tell me the first answer that comes to mind. Okay. This is my uncensored rapid fire questions right here. <laughs> All right, here we go. What was your New Year's resolution? Oh, to put more balance in my life, not always just working, but try to have some personal time. Okay. If you could have a dinner party with any celebrity, dead or alive, who would you invite? Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson, and Aaliyah. Wow. Wow. <laughs>
That's a good one. It's good. All right, we... what's the last thing you do before you go to sleep? Uh, get on my phone. I gotta stop that, it wakes me up. Did you guys know that? If you look at the light on your phone before you go to bed, it actually makes it that much more difficult for you to go to sleep. I gotta stop that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is such a millennial problem. I told you. It was some grown people went, what? Millennial diva, come on. Well, quit looking at your phone then. What was the craziest DM you've received? When I've dipped every now and then to respond to people in the unfiltered ones, I've seen, you know, some blurred pictures that I didn't want to tap to unblur. Yeah. Ha has a, a celebrity crush ever DM'd you that you didn't know about? Yeah, you sure, it's about. happened. It's happened a time or two. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I thought. <laughs> that's why. That's why we... But with all these screenshots in today's day, nobody's really doing all that too much. Screenshots? Oh, yeah, somebody could screenshot you, put you on blast. <laughs> They're putting everyone on blast these uh, days. Another millennial problem. All right, last one. What's, uh, what's one thing that people don't know about you? Um, I have a potty mouth at times. Oh, you cuss? Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's the best I can think of that nobody would know. Yeah, they don't know that about me either. <laughs> hey, everybody, Kiki Palmer. Hey, you can watch her on uh, Berlin Station Sunday nights at 9, only on Epics. And make sure you check out her movie, Pimp, available now on all digital platforms. We'll be right back, y'all. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.